For today's Training Tuesday video, I want to encourage all our worship leaders who are planning for Advent and Christmas this season. In the Old Testament, Isaiah points to a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, an everlasting Father, and a Prince of Peace. We are inviting our congregations and our families into this experience with a God who has those kind of attributes. It's an incredible, incredible season. Advent is the beginning of the Christian year. It is a wonderful time of God's story, and we need to tell the story with joy and with vigor. The expectations put on us as music leaders during this time can be overwhelming. I myself have experienced and know many music ministry leaders who have experienced crippling anxiety, panic attacks, and just overwhelming fear and dread during this time. So I encourage you worship leaders to spend some time with Jesus in these coming weeks before the season begins to ask him what he has for you during this season, what he has for your family, and then finally what he has for the church. If we please our pastors and lead others into extraordinary experiences and moments, yet we ourselves miss the Messiah, I believe it will become a thing that creates bitterness and resentment in our hearts as leaders. And I don't think that's the heart of God. I know that's not the heart of God for us. So three things to think about. Think about your scheduling, think about your songs, and think about space. For scheduling, schedule moments for yourself and your family alongside the things that you're planning with your church. Make sure there's times in this season where you're not thinking about the performance or you're not thinking about church, but you're thinking about your family. You're thinking about your time with the wonderful counselor. With productions, make those big asks early. So for Christmas Eve or as people are planning family things that they know that you're, they're needed in this season and ask them now. Get all those asks out of the way. Order your candles now. <laughs> Get all the things out of the way so you can focus on people and focus on the Lord. With songs, don't fear the classics. You might not completely enjoy or be as festive around them as others are, but sing them, walk through them, reclaim them, uh, restore beauty in those classics. Know that there's lots of truth and goodness in those classic hymns. Look for new songs and worship songs that express this Advent season and the Christmas season. And maybe write some songs, write a new chorus or write a new verse that fits your context of where you're at in your church. And then finally, space. Lead your people to the Prince of Peace this season. Help redeem and make right what the culture, the consumeristic culture has made so wrong. Advent, the weeks prior to Christmas, historically it's about waiting. So for those that are struggling and longing this season, make sure that worship is a place for all of us, all of them, to encounter the living God. I'll leave you with this. N.T. Wright so brilliantly states this about Jesus. He is the hurricane that has become human, the fire that has become flesh, and He is life itself that came to life and walked in our midst. Blessings to you as you prepare and you plan for this Advent and Christmas season. Take care.